Hi, Chris Atkins here, president of the cat company and co-founder of groupofnations.com. Thank you for joining me today and for your interest in the G7 and G20 global summits. For additional information, please visit us at groupofnations.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Today, I wanna to discuss the Women's 20 or W20. It is an official G20 engagement group established in 2015. Its formation was in response to criticism during the 2014 Brisbane G20 summit that there was a lack of representation on issues affecting the female population across the G20 member states. The inaugural W20 summit was held under the 2015 Turkish G20 presidency and marked a historic step for women's rights and gender equality across two thirds of the world's population. The new engagement group's mission was to foster gender equality and advance the economic empowerment of women. The W20 is formed of a transnational network of delegates representing non-government women's organizations, civil society, female entrepreneurs, businesses, as well as think tanks. Through collaborative dialogue, delegates jointly formulate actionable policy recommendations that are presented to the G20 leaders in the form of an official W20 communique. Their recommendations are supported by evidence reflecting the engagement group's position on topics and themes specifically being addressed at the G20 summit. The ultimate goal is to boost gender inclusive economic growth for each and every member state and guest country represented at the G20 summit. While these recommendations are non-binding, they are considered by the G20 for its discussions and negotiations and contribute to the policy making processes related to women. A prime purpose of the W20 is also to continually advance the implementation of a declaration made at G20 Brisbane Summit in 2014, known as 25 by 25. The declaration states the G20 will decrease the labor force participation gap between men and women to 25% by 2025. This declaration represents the G20's common understanding that women's social involvement means economic empowerment. The W20 can be a powerful vehicle for holding the G20 accountable and over the years has called on the G20 leaders to take positive actions to address women's economic empowerment by building strong ties between education, employment and entrepreneurship, support work-life balance, increase the number of women in leadership roles, eliminate workplace discrimination, ensure women's access to assets and markets, remove systemic legal and social barriers in labor market, close the digital gender gap and ensure that women can exercise their digital rights and all forms of violence against women and girls in the public and private spheres, including social media. Reports have suggested that the G20 is falling behind in their 25 by 25 goals and the W20 is calling upon labor and employment ministers from G20 member states to present a mid-term report during the 2020 G20 summit, which is hosted by Saudi Arabia. The group of nations and the cap companies is proud to be working 
with the W20 Saudi summit by publishing the first ever W20 Global Briefing Report. For more information on the G7, G20, B20 and W20 summits, please visit us at groupofnations.com and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more information on these very important summits. Thanks very much and please stay safe.